Hey again everybody, Dr. Bolin here with our microbiology shorts. This is just a condensation of our uh, shorts that we go over in our larger videos uh, talking about microorganisms. Um, I just want to invite you to come watch our larger videos if you want a more in-depth explanation of the topic. Uh, feel free to subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button uh, below uh, or donate to my Patreon if you like these videos. So let's get started. Our story today is going to take place at the Cola Scientist Robot Lab. Our scientist is assisted by robots because he is doing research on Clostridium botulinum. Robot botulinum, the cause of botulism. He has a couple friends with him. He's got his pet purple snake to remind you that Clostridium botulinum is a gram-positive bacillus, our recurrent symbol for a gram-positive bacillus, the purple snake. And alongside him is his trusty robot assistant standing right over here. We're going to put a mask on our mad scientist to remind you that Clostridium botulinum is an obligate anaerobe. This is a recurrent symbol for obligate anaerobes, the mask. And just as a PSA for any COVID deniers out there, no surgical masks will not make you anaerobic. They do not cut off your oxygen supply. This is just a symbol for us. He's got nuts and dirt on his table as he does his research. The nuts are to remind you that Clostridium botulinum, like all the Clostridia, are spore-forming bacteria. Spore-forming bacteria. And the dirt is there to remind you that Clostridium botulinum is found in the dirt, and that is why it's so easy to get on vegetables and foods that then may be going into cans. We like to can carrots and can various vegetables, and if they're improperly canned, the toxin can be found in the foods. That toxin is botulinum toxin, which our scientist has isolated. And now, with that toxin, he is going to use his snare, and he's going to cleave the cola off his contraption. Cola for acetylcholine. Botulinum toxin cleaves a snare protein at the neuromuscular junction, thus inhibiting acetylcholine release and resulting in a flaccid paralysis. There goes our cola. But what's he done now? His robot is experiencing the consequences of a lack of acetylcholine, and now he's paralyzed at the face. Remember that botulism will start with a facial paralysis and work its way downwards. It is a descending paralysis. Oh no, look what's happened to the robot. He's now completely paralyzed with botulism. The snake left, but why did he leave? It turns out <coughs> there was a baby underneath the table all along who's gotten into the honey that was underneath the mad scientist's table. That's a no-go because with administration of honey to infants under the age of one, Clostridium botulinum spores naturally found in honey will get into the underdeveloped GI tract of the baby that does not have competing bacteria. Clostridium botulinum will germinate and begin to create toxins. Therefore, honey is never given to infants under one year of age. But no despair. Our mad scientist is not evil. He indeed has the treatment for botulism, our antidote which is to administer antitoxins post-exposure. Notice the posts by his lair, and it's antibodies on top of the post. We administer antibodies, which act against the toxin. And that is the end of our story at the Cola Scientist's Robot Lab. <laughs>